Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your July 2018 Astro Update. It's Raina here. Well, I think that if you are somebody looking for love, Pisces, and or are an artist, and some of you may be both of those things, a creative person, or somebody who loves children or works with children, this may be the month for you because the fifth house for you is cancer. And cancer is going to be quite active for you in the sense that we have the first of two eclipses in this house, a solar eclipse at 20 degrees of cancer. So I'll get that, get to that in a minute, but I wanted to mention that the sun is in this house as well. So it's possible that for Pisces, July is typically a happy month for you because Cancer, being a fellow water sign, forms a trine to you. And the fifth house is a very cheery place. It's the house that Leo and its ruler, the sun, rule in the universal chart. And here you have the sun um, that rules this house in your particular um, astrology during July for the first few weeks. So you may be doing a lot of fun stuff and just kind of, um, I don't know if I'd say relaxing. Yeah, maybe relaxing and enjoying life, living it to the fullest, going to parties, going to concerts, feeling very creative, maybe having a connection with children during this time for whatever reason, focusing on them, maybe focusing on trying to conceive a child or if you work with children, maybe you're trying to get a job in that field, but something along those lines with the sun there, pouring that energy into this area. And then we have, well, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about Venus because Venus is in Leo until the ninth of the month. And for Pisces people, Leo is the sixth house, and this is a very practical house. It deals with work matters as well as dealing with um, your health. And so this could be uh, some, some of you may find love in your workplace on the job. It could be that you're having some kind of a truce with a, a coworker or just having like a real um, harmonious connection with coworkers. It's like m maybe you have moved into a different um, space or gone to a different, um, what do they call that in the company? Like a, a different... Um, division or whatever you want to call it within a company and you feel a, a more a stronger sense of affinity with the people than you did in your last place it could be that your office is getting a getting redecorated you could be getting a raise because venus can bring money into that area and then on the ninth Venus goes into Virgo, which is your opposite sign, Pisces. So this is going to be your seventh house of committed partnership. And Venus in that house, that's the house it rules. So that is already showing that it um, goes along with that. And it could indicate that if you're in a long-term relationship or a marriage, that things are going swimmingly. Harmony is restored if there's any problems. And even that, maybe even like um, getting a proposal or being the one who proposes, perhaps you're planning a wedding or doing something where you're, uh, you know, like Venus can, can be beautifying things. Maybe you're beautifying a space that you're going to use for a wedding or some kind of a commitment ceremony. And um, it can also be a good time 
for you to connect with clients and it can bring money through partnership for some reason, maybe even money through a court case. The very next day, Jupiter turns direct. And uh, I don't know if many of you know this, but Jupiter is also uh, connected to Pisces as a ruler. So perhaps in some way, I think it's more of the ancient ruler, but it's still, I the last time I checked, it was still connected to Pisces. So um, that may make this more significant for you than some other signs, but uh, this is happening on the 10th in a fellow water sign, Scorpio. So this could be um, something to do with ninth house matters. It's the God house. It's the house that Jupiter rules, actually. So we are talking about um, some kind of religious training or, you know, coursework. Could be like a... Even if you're like uh, trying to train for some kind of a job, like being a yoga instructor, but it could have something to do with higher education. So when it comes to Jupiter, we're talking about expansiveness and that would be opportunities for you. And this could open up or you could move forward in opportunities related to foreign travel or getting a college degree or maybe getting an an advanced degree. Teaching at a university is also featured. And if you had been wanting to do any of those things and something felt like it was slowing down and you couldn't do it, this may be a time when everything gets back on track. So that's really wonderful. And then a couple of days later is that solar eclipse I was talking about, 20 degrees of cancer. Solar eclipses are powerful new moons, and this is in your area of love. So falling in love, new love relationships, artistic endeavors, anything to do with uh, children, including if you work with children, perhaps um, your own business could be the fifth house. Uh, so if it's not a creative project in terms of art, it could be a creative project in, te- in terms of being an entrepreneur, or l- maybe you have a daycare center in your home, and that's something there's going to be new opportunities for that. And uh, But definitely for love, if you're looking, um, that could be very exciting for you. And, uh, you know, you never know, you may, this may be a very important person that you meet. This may not just be any dating situation. It could be a very important person that you end up being with for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying it could happen. And uh, so that's on the 12th. And then we have the sun going into Leo on the 22nd. Again, that's going to be in your sixth house of health and work. So you may have a healing, a possible healing of some health condition or insight into it. You may be um, looking at your, what you want to do, how you want to express yourself in terms of your work and, you know, maybe thinking about, yeah, I think that some, that some of you are really going to be rethinking this because then on the 25th or 26th, depending on where you live in the world, there's going to be a Mercury retrograde in the sixth house at 23 degrees of Leo. So you may be rethinking a certain job that you're involved with and maybe you feel like you're ready for a new direction or something along those lines. And so there could be like a review and this could also relate to any kind of like, if you just got hired somewhere, there may be some delay or issues regarding your, the paperwork that connect to the job. And you may have to be very careful 
if you are required to sign any documents during the Mercury retrograde, because it's not considered the best time for that, but obviously you can't. <laughs> I don't know if they would take you seriously at this new job if you said, hey, you know, my astrologer said that I shouldn't sign it on a Mercury retrograde. So could we hold off on this for three and a half weeks and then I'll sign the documents? And they're like, um, I don't think so. So that may be happening um, for you where you are really reviewing um, also anything related to health. You may, you know, Mercury rules the sixth house and it can also deal with diet. So you may be kind of uh, doing some research on what is the best eating style for you and how it impacts your health. If, uh, you know, like during a Mercury retrograde, we tend to hear from people from our past and you may hear from an ex coworker or maybe even like um, a job that you used to work at and they may be kind of like, hey, do you want to uh, come back to us? And then on the 27th or 28th, depending on where you live in the world, there is a lunar eclipse at four degrees of Aquarius, so a very powerful full moon. And for Pisces, this is in your 11th house, I mean 11th, 12th house of, you know, that you rule in the universal chart. So this is a very uh, familiar house to you since you rule this house with your ruler Neptune the house of past lives, the house of karma, the house of dreams in terms of like, you know, prophecies or just um, the unconscious mind or the subconscious mind. And um, so there could be like psychic stuff happening with the lunar eclipse, very powerful full moon. There's already a lot of psychic energy at the time of any full moon. So this could be a doozy. And who knows what kind of things can come up for you at this time, given that you are Pisces to begin with. This is a great time to let go of any kind of addictions. The 12th house is called the house of self undoing because of the ways that people sabotage themselves. And it, it's considered the house of addictions because Neptune can deal with addictions. So with a lunar eclipse, you can just, and an Aquarius is supposed to be a really good sign for breaking bad habits. So you could just like see yourself let go of a habit that's been plaguing you for God knows how long. And it just goes whoosh and you're done with it. So if that is something that you can relate to, I hope that that can happen for you for sure, because that can really help your life get on, get back on track in a big way. Okay, Pisces. Well, that's what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you have a wonderful July. And if you'd like a private reading, the nearest reading to this type of reading is my natal chart interpretation. So I will link that below because um, it kind of looks at your personal traits and your, your talents Maybe some of them are hidden or just I can um, validate some of them sometimes or you might, you know, you might resonate with something I say that gives you that, that um, green light to pursue your dreams. But then on top of that, we're looking at some of the astrological trends like I'm doing here, but kind of in a longer um, time frame for the next 12 months. So some of these long range planets have really been impacting you in different ways. So I talk about those as well. So I'll put the link below. I hope you have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.